either Cancer and anybody else tuning in here, welcome. We're here with your Mars in Gemini reading. This is a cycle of approximately March 3rd to April 23rd. Let's jump into it. Um, dear Cancer, very exciting energy here. I actually have a new deck here and uh, it is the wild unknown Kim Crayons, but it's just a new, a new deck. Um, and so we're here really writing out a new chapter here for you, Cancer. Very exciting. Um, and uh, you're the first sign that I'm actually using with this deck. So let's give it a real good shuffle. And, um, you know, I've, I've read for myself with this first, um, as a sort of, let's say, initiation. But uh, you are the first sign technically to read. Now, let's jump into it. And Cancer, I was meditating on your energy. Um, you know, it's interesting. I was seeing that there is something that you kind of, you, I'm getting this, you know where you stand in a certain space. And I'm hearing for a number of you with someone. There's something that you recognize in a broader scope. You realize, you know, I see that that's the direction this is moving in. I realize that that's where I want to take this. I'm hearing that as well. And I'm not really worried about it from that standpoint. However, there is still the need to actually jump in and do what it is that I feel. I'm hearing, I, I see, I'm hearing, I see the potential out as the fool and the eight of pentacles. In other words, I want to act in, in accordance with what it is that I see as my potential. I'm hearing that as well in this space. So it's like, maybe you have an intuition about something, you feel something just, just intuitively. I'm hearing that as well as being true or so you recognize that there is something that, that does have potential in whatever way. Um, and it's like, okay, it's just a matter of like just doing it. It's like inevitability really at this point as, 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 as how you see it um, is what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. Now let's pull the cards. These cards are so slippery. Oh my goodness. I've been using those other cards. The Ace of Pentacles was like <laughs> kind of like chopped in half. So um, I'm hearing Leo, Leo, let's, let's, let's cut the cake already. Two of wands coming through. Okay. Um, now we're going to pull a card here actually for each of the days. And I want to just have a mega spread here out. So I'm going to just get organized, set everything to the side, really have a lot of real estate here to work with for this reading for you, Cancer. And for those of you who are new, new followers, new viewers, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in here to you. And it's important to remember that I am meditating on the energy and channeling. I'm not only working with the cards, I'm also channeling. So there is a lot coming through at times. And in a way, I'm sort of filtering the energy through. I'm sort of the messenger we can say. So what it is that I'm feeling, I will translate that to you. Sometimes again, it can go quickly. So if you do feel guided to slow the video down, feel free. Um, also really important, I am channeling for the relationship between you and your higher self here, right? This is not between me and you personally. It's not my personal opinion as well. Um, if you know me personally, that's an entire separate scenario. Like if you really like we've had interactions, we've dated, we've communicated back and forth openly in a logical format. Okay. Where we said, yeah, we're obviously related or however, if you're whatever it is, okay, relative or for somebody I've dated, this is something completely separate. Um, if we've never met and you feel that there's a connection, I'm so touched by all of you, um, the connection that we do have in some way, um, but there is a distinction between what I actually participate in on a personal level with you and where you participate with yourself in that space. I am not here as an available sort of um, uh, interactive, uh, let's say, person. Okay, I don't know how to even say this. It's so awkward. It's like, why do we have to make this like so clear? But you know, there are people who are emailing me, messaging me, or have been, and they they believe that we're in a relationship. We're not in a relationship. So I hate to just kind of like come out and say it so clear like that, but I have to do that because it's getting kind of out of hand. And these readings are for you to find a sense of peace within your own life with yourself. And really, isn't that every relationship, even if we are in a bona fide relationship with somebody, right? And you could be watching this reading, you may be in a bona fide relationship with somebody, and you realize that, you know, it's not about so much getting information on that person, or whatever it is, it's about you reflecting the connection that you hold, regardless with yourself. And that's what I do these readings for. I'm not here to read also on, you know, giving you clues as to who should do what in what scenario, and for, 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 the, for their own good. This is a matter of really coming to a point of, um, you know, peace, in a unanimous way where everyone is able to find um, a space of healing. So in other words, I don't give information out that I do not resonate personally with, with my own conscious, my higher self. In other words, if it's not a positive energy flow, I'm not going to channel it. So in other words, if somebody is here to view for the sake of getting information that will for the hopes of harming another person, I'm not going to be channeling that information. So you can move to another reader or another video or another channel or platform, whatever it is, website. You if you're watching this, this is a positive healing light space. And when it comes to healing with your higher self, now let's jump into it. Put the energy and ground. I'm hearing Leo. 
Okay, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing don't look back. Okay, interesting. Now the two of wands here can be through. Um, cancer, cancer. Now I want to pull a card for each of the days and um, there's something that I'm, for a number of you realizing like, okay, like something has gone to a point of almost, we can say no return. Like I realize that that's really how I feel about this. <laughs> yes, yes, I realize that. There's not much more to it. <laughs> okay, there's no point in kind of dancing around it. I realize that, you know, there's always going to be something that some someone has to say. Now for a number of you, this is something very personal. This is an experience that you have with yourself that is private experience maybe and you feel like there's something that maybe maybe eventually you would like to come out with and for number this is someone you actually hearing you have a crush on or something like you you're maybe you're in love with a friend i'm hearing the two wands of bright nine of cups reverse it's like whatever this is it's not openly discussed i'm hearing that now um, that's okay the third fourth fifth of march i'm just gonna pull all the cards in i really would love um, you guys to be able to actually see the cards as we pull them. Wouldn't that be so cool? Okay. Yeah, we can kind of see that, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th of March. I'm here, right? Let's get honest. It's time to get honest. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups in reverse. Two of Wands is upright. Eight of Swords is upright. There's something that you are just at a point with. I'm hearing in this way, Cancer. I'm hearing. I'm hearing Leo with Leo. You're just at a point here with something. You're. I don't want to say you're giving up on whatever the situation is, but you're pretty much seeing it for what it is and you're realizing what it feels like to you there's not a whole lot of like let me make this better okay i'm hearing it like that i'm seeing somebody is opening a box of band-aids they're like no no more no no more trying to work with the situation from the standpoint of let me see what i can what i can fix to help this situation fix itself it's like if it's not if it's not balanced as well i'm hearing that this is you know a matter of just kind of seeing it in that way or at least saying it in that way with saying hey i feel like this is not balanced now for a number of you this is something that you feel you know let's clear it you have not yet brought forward in a way that 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 is recognized like for number this is a connection that you have with someone that is that it's 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 not it's not really in the open yet i'm hearing that and this is it's something maybe you're planning to communicate with the nine of, nine of cups in reverse and two of wands of bright and the eight of swords of bright and the wheel of fortune of bright but whatever it is you're at a point and i was getting this energy as i was meditating your energy can't be far from the camera it's like you, you kind of see what you're working with. Now, this energy actually came through as well. I think it was in the, what well, which reading was it? Let's clear it around. I'm hearing Aries, Li, Libra, and I'm hearing Leo again. Um, it was the sensation of like actors on a stage. They're not amused anymore. Okay, they're not gonna try to look happy, okay? <laughs> at the end of the, at the end of that one scene, like it is final, it is what it is. We're not gonna try to go back and like edit it and make it look perfect. It's just, it is what it is. If we end up looking unhappy on, the, the, on our birthday, like that's what it is. I'm hearing it as well in that way. So there's a level of like honesty. I'm hearing that again with the Eight of Swords of Right. That is just, it's an exhaustion maybe even with the Eight of Swords of Right. We are talking about the Eight of Swords. It was air energy, very strong sort of mind work here as well, possibly. But let's continue. This is the third, fourth, fifth. Eighth is the Three of Cups up, right? Take a deep breath there with the four of cups. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. The, thir the three of cups with the four of cups. Um, it's funny because we have the two of pentacles that leads into the three of cups and the four of cups. So there's something definitely building here, um, especially given that we have the three and the four of cups as well, anchoring this nine of cups in reverse in that first part of the cycle when Mars just had entered into Gemini. Let's say the zenith, the zenith degree. Yeah, by the fourth, it would have still been the zenith degree. It's, Mars has moved that quickly, right? So the very beginning stages of Mars and Gemini, you know, there is something that is kind of, it's like inevitable again. It's like, what's going to be obvious? It's going to become obvious. I can't hide this. I'm hearing that as well with the nine of cups in reverse. It's like my cheeks, I'm like, I'm like the chipmunk that keeps chewing. And like, you know, as long as I keep just chewing and not swallowing, like my cheeks are going to tell, tell, tell the truth eventually. I'm hearing for me. Interesting. Daughter starts coming through. Let's continue to pull. Father of Wands. <clears throat> For number you, it's something you're letting go of. It's a cycle. <laughs> it's a it's a ridiculous one. It could be you with you. Maybe it's something that you just like you used to make excuses for, and you're no longer making excuses for whatever that is. Okay, it's like that is not appropriate. I'm hearing in this way. Like I don't I don't appreciate that. So why would I participate in that? I'm hearing that as well. And these could be people maybe that you communicate with or some kind of aspect of your work your daily life that you just don't resonate with and that's that we're going to get more cards on on, on this i've seen that the real strong 
energy I'm hearing sphere that we're talking about is a nine of cups in reverse. And that came through right in the very beginning of your reading. So we're going to jump, we're going to jump into that after we pull each card. So Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm seeing that maybe there's something you're a little bit worried about, Cancer, when it comes to your social reputation space as well, in relation to whatever this decision is that you're making. It could even be a project you're proposing for nobody. This might have to do with family with the three cups and the four cups, diagonal, the chariot, and the nine of cups. It's like it's awkward, you know. It's awkward. It's it's a little bit controversial, maybe, but it's like I can't be concerned about that. I have to do what's right for me. Okay, I'm hearing this with the nine of cups in reverse, like some. Some people might look at this and be like, oh my god, but it's tradition. It's like, but it's not, it's not something that I, that I really want to eat as a meal. I mean, right in this way, like, at the end of the day, I'm the one who will be digesting it. Let's clear it. You lead it with the fa father cups. There is some, this is something with a history, okay? Maybe someone is like, I'm saying somebody's kind of like, they have expectations. It's like, in reality, this is, it's not, it's not going to work like that, okay? That's what I'm hearing. What remains is the high priestess. Now, some of you have guidance here um really intense actually the form of guidance with a high priestess of right you may actually have somebody who is an intuitive a channeler a medium who maybe even lives with you or is in your midst they 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 are mentoring i'm hearing possibly you you, you maybe you attend their conferences i'm hearing school 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 i don't know what that's only to um, there's something that you isn't you, you're you maybe you talk to them often or whatever it is cancer like they're really having s something to say about this is what I'm hearing maybe it's just like repetitive something patterned it's kind of like um continuously like something is being spoken about I'm seeing cr like crows but I'm hearing frogs okay take it to do well there's maybe it's a spirit animal as well but again we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna into it now there's a lot of really like sludgy energy here in the beginning of this period, I'm seeing bright fluorescent purple with a nine of cups in reverse. Like, let's think about that, right? The nine of cups. That's like, how do you go from the two ones of right to the nine of cups in reverse? It's like, I'm seeing there's an opportunity that immediately presents itself. And then it's like, okay, my immediate reaction is to like conceal what I really feel. My immediate reaction. You know what I'm seeing is the nine of cups here. I'm seeing th those games at the carnival where you take the hammer and you go like you hit down on that on the on the buzzer thing and it goes woo that I'm seeing that with the nine of cups reverse it's like but we're hiding we're doing all of that and save the reactive sort of response to to also maybe an action that we even took it's like I don't know what that's going to do it's like someone trying to hide their blushing I don't know let's continue maybe the reactions physically even yeah so the two of wands are bright um, and it could be emotionally, yeah, with the nine of cups in reverse, because that's all emotion. So, you know, there's something that just doesn't, I'm hearing a little bit different. It will be different for everybody. I'm hearing it doesn't resonate. I'm seeing a bird again flying right by there. Now let's get into it. This could also be somebody who is uh, like kind of, you know, has been trying to conceal what they've been feeling. And it's like, it's it's becoming obvious. They're realizing I this is not practical. It's not realistic for me to think that I can also go on like this. Like I don't even resonate with 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 that state of 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 my own story. Wow, interesting. With a star, yeah. This is something stagnant. Something that has been stagnating. I want to pull one card there on the nine of cups. The daughter pentacles. So, once again, correct. There's too much pressure in the environment for a number of you. There's too much questioning. Oh my god! But then, what if this and what if that? It's like when the, when we're looking at the prime, the primal energy source of emotion with the Nine of Cups in reverse, we're seeing a very natural, fluid state of that's just what I feel. Okay, there's not a lot of contemplation with the Nine with the Nine of Cups. This is more like it's like just something that you naturally do, given that you have nine Nine of Cups. <laughs> you did not only thought of it once, you thought of it twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Okay, this is something that it has been you know, really, really built up. So it's not like random, like, oh my God, I had that little thought one time. Yeah, but I haven't thought of it since I'm hearing that. No, no, this is something that has been, and this is a general reading as well. You have to remember that. But then Daughter Pentacles looking down at the star, um, there's something that maybe for a number of you, you have been for participating in, you know, more backstage from behind the scenes. It's more private. It's like, I don't know. It's even for a number of you, maybe with your audience. Okay. It's something that you, you, you do maybe as a hobby, but you haven't presented it like formally yet. Okay. It's like, well, okay. I haven't told my audience yet that that's something I'm into. I'm hearing that as well with the daughter of goes like legally, uh, legally. Wow. Okay. So maybe you haven't included something actually formally in your work. Something like that. It's even like a business. Like they, they're testing a product or, 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 or a type of maybe add on to a product, but they haven't like actually officially offered it as like a viable option yet. I'm hearing that. It's even like a doctor who's like practicing certain services on patients, but like it's not formal. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're, they're, they're in the feedback loop mode with whatever this is. Now the 10 of pentacles, 
Um, this could also be the form of somebody dating somebody and not having told them yet, like, really how they feel. Okay, so it's a little bit of a poker energy. I mean, seeing that as well, the nine of cups reverse. Now, let's continue. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of, lot of stagnating energy here. When, okay, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. And it's not like, oh, that's bad. It, everything is cyclical. There's a reason for everything. You know, every, everything that goes up must come down and vice versa. It's like, you know, everything that is stagnating will build to a point where it will be the sort of, you know, <laughs> the flood, the flood that moves through the dam sort of energy. Now, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You know, it's interesting because, and I'm here at Cancer Capricorn, um, somebody can have a lot of overlap of Cancer Capricorn. Maybe, they, for example, they have a moon in, in Capricorn even, um, or moon in the house of, of Cancer, I'm hearing, in Capricorn. Interesting. Or moon in Cancer in the house of Capricorn. Yeah, okay, we said that twice. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> take it as you will. Maybe even like a moon conjunct Saturn or a moon in in the house of Capricorn, in 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 the in the sign of Cancer, do we say that the third time now? Okay, Moon in the house of Cancer, maybe even in Capricorn, like back and forth interchangeably. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a shift here, even with the Vedic uh, astrology, or there are two people. Maybe this is astro the synastry. Anyways, let's get back to it with the Nine of Cups reverse. For a large number of you, I'm hearing it in this way. If this is a relationship thing, and there's like somebody who, well, if they're into, if they are into, let's say things that are emotional what does that mean like it let's say they're really romantic or they they're, they love to write poetry i'm hearing this if they're waiting to take an action here it's like they they are aware that there is serendipity at play and for a number of you maybe that is a factor okay this is in whatever this is a huge change this is if someone were to communicate in relation to this nine of cups in reverse it would be suggesting that there is something really big that would follow that so with the nine of cups in reverse this can also be somebody who just takes these types of things seriously you know they're not going to just kind of like you know they, they don't want to just kind of go off on a whim and like you know communicate what they're fantasizing about i'm hearing those with the nine of cups in reverse it could feel kind of risky maybe to them but let's continue for largely this is something that you're you know you even have an ability with it's something creative now let's continue for no reason this is your mediumship capabilities 20 and 21st is the death card wow you got the high priestess you have the death card you have the star all in the same week yeah, the death card preceding the high priestess they're both looking back at the star you lead out with the six of pentacles of right now capricorn it, i think this came through in the capricorn reading the death card and the high priestess following one another like that um it was like someone being like obsessed with someone now anyways let's get into the next week here the 23rd is the eight of cups up right 24th is the three of pentacles of right someone's like all right they're seeing something materialize in a more realistic way. I'm not sure what that's alluding to for everyone, but like we go from that two ones of arrive with the nine of cups in reverse to like, oh wow, I see that he's he's actually really romantic. I'm hearing that as well, like or at least he has the capacity to be. Let's continue. I feel this need to like hurry. I'm hearing that. Okay, hangman coming through. Diagonal of the high priestess. You have both cards associated with Pisces. Then you lead into the strength card. Someone's a little unsure of something. I'm hearing that song by Matchbox 20, Unwell. I think that's the name of the song. I've uh, been a little unwell, something like that. Um, something about an impression as well. Maybe someone felt like, I don't know if I made the best impression. I'm hearing that as well. Maybe someone went on a date with someone. It could even be an interview or they presented something, something physically as well. They were like unsure. It's that moment. It's like, is this what they expected? I'm hearing that as well. 2021. I'm seeing for whenever somebody shows up on like webcam. I'm hearing that webcam. Okay. <laughs> Camera, whatever it is. Okay. 2021. 20, so there's some confusion here. I'm hearing that. But again, we'll get into it. 2021, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's a lot of build up. There's a lot of like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Okay. <laughs> Where the heck? 21, 20, 2021. 8, 9. Wow. You meet out on the 31st with the tower. <laughs> the tower's like, I don't want to be the 31st. I don't want to be the last day of March. No, too much spotlight on me. Okay, wanted to jump onto the daughter cups. <laughs> it's like, daughter cups is like, whoa, whoa. Like, chill, tower, chill. <laughs> you can, you can talk, okay, with the mic in your hand. Like, at the same time, like, I'm hearing that as well. Like, something is maybe, it's just a new experience as well. I'm hearing that. But this is the irony here with whatever this is. Like, I'm saying that this is something that someone feels like they can see themselves working in the space in this way anyways. It's just a little, maybe a little bit like performance anxiety. Absolutely, for a number of you. It's not like I'm actually nervous. I'm hearing that. Okay. So let's get the cards here so that we can get the next month going. 
And um, I'm here wearing so fresh and so clean, clean, but the father wants who doesn't want to <laughs> lift off of the table there. Okay. <laughs> so this could be somebody who also just has a very high expectation of themselves. Like they, they, they don't want to present unless it's like, well, they, got, they don't eat. They're very silent. I'm hearing silent. But the father wants, they're kind of private. Like uh, some people can say secretive, but like kind of like, um, it's like someone's talking, they're telling a story, I'm hearing this. And then the father wants comes and says, no, 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 that's not the story. And then it's like, this person is like, oh, it's not? Okay, then what is it? And they're like, oh no, I'm gonna tell you. It's like, I don't know what that's going to, but like, okay. So maybe there's got some mystery there. Let's pull one more card on that father wants. Is that about Sun of Cups Upright? So they're actually, <laughs> They're actually really, they feel, they feel like they're, let me hear in front of review. Their ego is consistently at stake. They feel like they, they are very defensive when it comes to certain situations, when it comes to communicating their vulnerability, showcasing their vulnerability. Okay, it's not something that they're used to. For number you're dealing with someone who has not been in many relationships. I'm hearing that as well. Um, yeah, and so there is maybe a little bit of the sensation of imbalance when it comes to communicating, okay, the persona of the Son of Cups. It's like something is out of balance. How do you go from the Father once to the Son of Cups, right? So dramatically here. When the Daughter Cups remains here at the end of this month with the death card let's get into april i'm hearing zoom buddies we've been zoom buddies for like four to five years i'm hearing this from a review ace of pentacles it's funny this uh, this came through it was in i think it was either the capricorn or the sagittarius reading like these two people who just they remain eternally like text friends <laughs> they never actually meet up they never actually like hang out it's always like in theory in theory ace of pentacles it's like no one's willing to take the first step that first step now again ace of pentacles can be thrown on the first of april <laughs> let's see let's see let's see nine of wands okay <laughs> something is building it's funny why because we step into April. On the 2nd of April, we have the Nine of Wands mirroring the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's like, ironic. It's ironic. It's like, oh, I tried to, like, pretend like I didn't see her. Like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I see that she's, she sees me seeing her, at, you know, out of the corner of my eye. Ooh, that's awkward. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me look like I'm not looking, like, straight at her. Okay. I can't pretend like I'm not looking in her direction. Okay, but I at least maybe can, I can kind of, like... I'm hearing move the candle out of the wind a little bit. I don't know what that's going to. I'm hearing who will save your soul. It could be a competitive energy as well. This could be something someone doesn't even realize. Okay, is taking place. The Empress and the Emperor. Now, for a number, there's a very strong connection. There, there is a very strong soulmate energy here. It's like we realize, and this person's running out with fluorescent blue. They got a blue jacket on. It's like I'm hearing Tigris Ribble, River, Ribble, <laughs> River. I'm hearing like ancient dialect for a number of you. I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing the Nile. You guys, this is something that goes way back. Son of Pentacles. Some of you have some sort of something with language here with this person. It's something with your communication style, your writing. It's like we both get those jokes. Like it's weird. Like we both have that same style of writing. It's like we didn't even like formally like learn the language. It's just we have our own little dialect. I'm hearing that interesting. It's something with language for a number of you. It's something that you maybe even cook or like you have the same taste in something or preference. It's something very unique. It's like you neither one of you, maybe you both have a talent. You were it's like you were not taught that. I'm hearing that with the seven of wands of right. Um I'm hearing hermit card here with the seven of wands of right it's like but you just both naturally have that disposition i'm hearing that as well towards that particular even style i'm hearing of camera lens i don't know maybe your photography is very similar or something like that there's something that gives it away now the ten of wands coming through upright over the ten of cups upright this is one two three four five the sixth of um april is the ten of cups upright the seventh is the empress upright important date there is what i'm hearing um ooh, let's shovel that back in that's a nine of pentacles upright um mirroring that nine ones you got these nines building it's like it's so particular i'm hearing the way that you manifest this is what i'm hearing with the empress and the emperor and it can be a soul contract what's funny is you have the seven of cups upright in between the empress and the emperor um again that focus on the number seven which is actually the ruler of the house of libra so that is the house of venus and the empress is all it's a very venusian sort of guided energy for us so it's it's funny there's a very strong focus as well on the number three and nine the multiples of of nine three three and three is the empress card number and it is a very 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 divine divine energy divinely feminine energy as well specifically nine i kid you not you guys no there's a listen this is the type of thing where you you cancer <laughs> you know what this is okay you i will say you both know what this is <laughs> it's just 
it has to be carried forward in a particular way is what I'm hearing. Somebody feels like, look, I can't just come out and say this. I can't just smile at her. It's not so simple as a little smile. It's the way I sail off into the distance away from her first. I'm hearing it this way. Just to come back, I'm hearing towards her, but from another angle of the sea. Wow. Like for a number of you, it's all about the perspective. Now let's pull another card nine of swords upright. You're getting funny with the knives out, Cancer. You got nine, nine. Let's let's continue. I'm hearing great, great, great. Now, Father of Swords. I saw that card shuffled him back in. It comes through again right there, proceeding the nine of swords. I am seeing there will be a confession here. Something will be made clear. Yeah, specifically related to the temperance card here. For a number of you, um, there is a physical side to this that was unresolved. I'm hearing from the past. It will need to be brought forward and addressed in a, in a particular way is what I'm hearing the mother wants. Maybe somebody's even waiting to relate, relate relate to something in a particular way maybe they feel like it's inappropriate to do so during this time for whatever reason or there's just something that is particular i'm saying that with the tempers card i'm going to pull another card there on the tempers card mother wants coming through again right there so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen the emperor is on the ninth sixteenth is the mother wants a bright seventeenth is the four pentacles of bright we're reading up until the 23rd of april 18th is the Eight of Wands of Bright. 19th is the Three of Swords of Bright. I'm feeling hot ears. Woo! 20th is the World of Bright. Wow. It's the last major arcana. And uh, we have here on the 21st is the Six of Wands of Bright. Yeah. You lead out with the Mother of Swords. I'm feeling crazy activation of the right side of the Crown Chakra. Follow the Pentacles in your team. For number of you, this is something that has a history to it, for sure, for sure. For number of you, it is something karmic. It is something that needs um, a lot of patience, is what I'm hearing as well. There are guides here in this space who are really, really relevant to the re the relationship. I'm not sure, maybe this is something like that has two sides to the story I'm hearing as well, and it's very important that they relate to each other in a particular way. It's almost like there's a medium, there's a medium of exchange even I'm hearing that with the Father of Pentacles. It is something karmic. I'm seeing somebody walking with a, with a bright fluorescent blue mask, almost like a surgical color mask, and he's got like a plum mahogany maroon color sweater. Now mar maroon and mahogany were coming through way back in, so it was a Sagittarius when we were starting to do those readings outdoors for Sagittarius is about a year ago, even I think two years ago. And so whatever that may mean in particular for a number of you, but okay, now the mother starts coming through. Sitting right next to the mother pentacles. Um, we see it. We see what this is. We, I will even say we know what this is. I'll go so far as to say that we've known what this is. <laughs> It was like, this is the type of thing where the minute that you even met this person, you encountered this person, you were in the situation, you, it was like a reflection in, 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 how do we say it? In, in, in the, in the mirror, I'm hearing in the mirror, I'm hearing on the wall. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Like, um, how do we say this? Um, let's clear it around. It was a reflection in, in the, in, in the window. It's like, how do we say this? It's like when you're walking, uh, like, let's say uh, by a window and you see a reflection, it's like. That's not, I'm hearing, that's not make-believe. Now, maybe for a number of you, there was an aspect of this connection that felt, like, too good to be true. Like, okay, it's weird, but you realize, no, there's a reason for this. There's a reason why this is happening. It's not random, and it is guiding me in a certain direction, in a very particular direction. It's this feeling of knowing that there is this one wave that is to carry you to a very particular shore. And at a very particular time, I'm hearing of season with the sun and the star. Let's pull one card on that. Seven of Pentacles upright, and the sun of wands upright. You're guided. This is for a number of you. This is someone here who's also coming in. Judgment with the fool. This for a number of you is a birth, possibly, as well. And we really started with a very fresh deck. Let's jump into your extended cancer. Thank you for tuning in. Love and light to you guys. And thank you for tuning in here to you, ultimately. If you are a new viewer, feel free to comment. I love reading your comments. I love also hearing from, you know, longtime subscribers. I read all of your comments, just so you know. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Bye. Bye, cancer.